Hi, my name is James Sherlock, guitar teacher here at Box Hill Institute. I just want to talk a bit about the guitar and the guitar fretboard and how as a student when you start trying to play harmonic music, music with chord changes in it, that the fingerboard can be a bit of a mystery. It can be, uh, you know, play around here, Ooh, what's happening here? Ooh. So I'd just like to give you a little hint about what I, how, the way I think of the guitar fingerboard and the way I organize it in my head. Uh, one of the main things is to make sure you keep your single lines and your chordal plane together in the one group. Um, I don't think of my chords and arpeggios and scales as, as different material. I think of it exact, as a, exactly the same material. Uh, so a little exercise that I practice is one of these. Say we do uh, G major. <clears throat> and so I take my I don't know if everyone's familiar with the cage system, but it's a common system that people use to remember chords. I take my five main chord voicings for G major. This guy, this one, this one, this one, this one. But instead of practicing them just as chords, I make sure that I know all the notes around those chords. So when I'm down here, I know my scale, all the notes in the area. Play the chord again, play the arpeggio. So then when I'm playing, and when I'm playing this chord voicing, no matter what key I'm in, remember this is the guitar, transposes. So if I'm in B flat, I know, I know what to play, where the main notes are, where my seventh is, where my third is. In G, G major, where my seventh, third, fifth, nine, all that stuff. So I'm tying my single line plane and my chord plane together because they help each other out. When you're just playing single lines, it's good to have an idea of what chord you're playing on. Likewise, when you're playing chords, it's nice to be able to play some single line ideas around that as well. So that was the first one. Second one, this chord is the root. Here's my arpeggio. Bit awkward that one, I probably wouldn't use that very often. Next one, there's my root. Next one, etc. You get the idea. So you do that with major, you do it with minor, you do it with dominant. Oops, that was funny. You do it with all your sounds, so that way, your chords and your melodies can help each other out. The idea being that you, you make your comping more melodic and your single lines soloing more harmonic.